Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer today for June 29th, 2022. Glad that you are with me today. Um, I am back. Thank you for uh, your forgiveness as I was serving as the vice moderator of the Environmental Justice Committee of the 225th General Assembly, and will be serving, uh, continuing to serve as a commissioner over the, um, the next couple of weeks. But I am back. Thank you uh, for your thoughts and your prayers along with me. Let's go ahead and join together in prayer today. Today is National Insurance Awareness Day, National Tapioca Day, National Alaska Day, National Logistics Day, National Paul Bunyan Day, and Tao Day. Let's go ahead and get started. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord's unfailing love and mercy never cease, fresh as the morning and sure as the sunrise. Our reading for today comes from Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 through 4a. Listen for God's word to speak to you. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. And on the seventh day God finished the work that God had done, and God rested on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it because on it God rested from all the work that God had done in creation. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, um, we have finished now chapter 1 of Genesis, but not quite the first account of Genesis. That, that break it doesn't necessarily make sense the way it is. Um, so we heard the first six days of creation, of, of true creation, and now the beginning of Genesis 2, we have the seventh day of creation, which is a day of not creation. It is a day of rest. It is Sabbath. This is important. This is a... Um, a really key part of the Hebrew scriptures that God creates the world with this natural pattern of work, but also rest. And so the seventh day from this point on, this is in many ways an explanation of the practice of the Jewish people, as well as a, um, a support and foundation for it, that every seventh day is there to take a rest. This is a blessing that God has given. In fact, God practices this same Sabbath. God rests on this seventh day. For the Jewish people, the uh, Sabbath is, of course, Saturday. Uh, even our calendars reflect this, that the first day of the week on our calendars is Sunday. And then you count seven days and you get to the Sabbath of Saturday. But the day itself is not as important, especially we as, uh, as Christians believe. Um, in fact, the reason that Christians gather for worship on Saturday was a practice, or uh, on Sunday, was a practice of the early church. Because a, this primarily Jewish sect would gather in the synagogue on Sabbath, on Saturday, and then they would gather together with this community of faith, believing that Jesus has, uh, is, in fact, the Messiah and has risen, day, risen from the dead on the day of resurrection, which is Sunday. Um, this is also a vital thing for us to remember in this world that we exist in that is so busy, so thousand miles an hour. So how, you know, the, um, the gig economy, the, um, the hustle economy, where you always have to be busy, always have to be producing, always have to be doing. To this, God says, to this, Scripture says, take rest. You can't always be going all the time rest. So whether it's one day out of the week, whether it is gathering together in this time for a, a moment of 
prayer and reflection on God's word and work and will. Take time. Take Sabbath. Walter Brueggemann, who is a um, famous American theologian, uh, wrote this book, wonderful book, called Sabbath as um, oh, of course, I can't remember the title. Sabbath as resistance, saying that that Sabbath keeping can be a form of sort of critique of uh, the the culture around us. Interesting thought. Let us go ahead now and stop and rest and reflect. Let us join together in prayer. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. We lift our voices in prayer and praise, holy God, for you have lifted us to new life in Jesus Christ, and your blessings come in generous measure. Especially we thank you for the good news of Jesus Christ for all. The wonder and beauty of creation. the love of family and friends, opportunities for faithful service, particular blessings of this day, people of God, for what else do we give thanks? I give thanks for the chance to serve the greater church, to get a, um, a glimpse and a witness of what it looks like when the body of Christ gathers to discern the will of God, a glimpse of that unity, of that grace. We hold up before you human needs, God of compassion, for you have come to us in Jesus Christ and shared our life so that we may share his resurrection. Especially we pray for the one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Peace and justice in the world. those in whom we see Christ's suffering, those who offer Christ's compassion, particular concerns of this day, people of God, for what else do we pray? We pray for David, Bill's brother, who is having cardiac catheterization on Tuesday. Please pray for a good outcome and that bypass surgery will not be necessary. Pray for Sean, who had significant colon surgery. We pray for Nick, a friend of the church who had heart tests this week in preparation for shoulder surgery. For the friends and family of Leslie, a friend of Mary who passed away. We pray for the one-year anniversary of the passing of Lynn's niece, Ruby Rose, on July 1st. And for her parents, who are to be married on July 2nd. We pray for the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church, which continues to meet in committees. Group 3 is currently meeting, and who will join together in plenary starting on July 5th. For Sandy's stepson and his wife, who had total loss of everything in an electrical fire. For victims, families, and all those affected by the church shooting in Vestabia, Alabama, as well as all those affected by gun violence.
Eternal God, our beginning and our end, be our starting point and our haven, and accompany us in this day's journey. Use our hands to do your creation and use our lives to bring others the new life you give this world in Jesus Christ, Redeemer of all. Amen. Now let us continue to pray using the words Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Thank you so much for joining me today for daily prayer. Join me tomorrow for some more. Like this video, share it with someone else, click on the subscription and the notification button, as well as going to our website, johncalvinchurch.org, for more information. Our liturgy today came from the Book of Common Worship of the Presbyterian Church USA, 2018 edition, and our readings came from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.